Today we are going to look at adding fractions with like denominators with models. Like denominators means that both of your denominators are the same. This is the only way you can add and subtract fractions. Let's take a look at this addition sentence using fraction tiles to help us. Our addition sentence says 3 eighths plus 2 eighths. Let's write that down in our notebook. And I think you should draw the model under the 3 eighths as well, labeling each piece 1 eighth. Adding to that 3 eighths, we're going to add two more fraction tiles. We're going to add two eighths to our 3 eighths. And when I look at all of my fraction tiles and count them up together, I can see 3 eighths plus 2 eighths is going to give me 5 eighths. Notice my denominator never changed because I still have pieces that say eighths. All I did was add my numerators. Three eighths plus two eighths equals five eighths. Let's look at this example. Write it in your notebook again. One sixth plus two sixths. I start with my one sixth tile and I'm going to add two more one sixth tiles. So I have one six plus one six plus one six. Counting those up, I should get three six. Again, my denominator did not change because my pieces didn't change. I just added my numerators together. Pause the video and try this one in your notebook. One third plus one third. When you add these fractions together, you should get two thirds. There's another way we can solve this problem as well. Let's take a look at these models. I have a circle with one third shaded in, and I have another circle with one third shaded in. If I combine my shaded areas and add one third plus one third, I'm going to get the same answer as two thirds. We can also add fractions with like denominators on the number line. Just like I use number lines with whole numbers, I'm going to use a number line that's broken down by the fractions I'm adding. My first fraction is 2 twelfths. That's where I'm going to start. I'm going to mark my place on the number line of 2 twelfths. I need to add 3 twelfths. That means I'm going to jump or move forward 3 twelfths. 1, 2, I started at 2 twelfths, and I moved forward 3 twelfths, and I end at 5 twelfths, which tells me that 2 twelfths plus 3 twelfths equals 5 twelfths. Again, adding the numerators together, keeping my denominators the same. Let's try it with 6. I'm going to start at 2 6 because it's my first fraction, and I'm going to add 4 6. 1, another 6, another 6, and another 6. And I end at 1 whole. I also know that 1 whole is 6. Looking back at my fractions, I add my numerators, 2 plus 4 equals 6, and I keep my denominators the same, and I get the same answer. 2 6 plus 4 6 equals 6 6. 
let's try some with addition fraction strips. In your notebook, write an equation that fits this model. You may pause the video to do so. Now let's solve this. Notice I have 3 eighths plus 2 eighths. And when I add them together, I have 5 eighths. Here's one more to try in your notebook. 4 tenths plus 2 tenths. When I put them together, I have six tenths. So four tenths plus two tenths equals six tenths. Let's pause the video and try these four problems in your notebook. After adding all four equations, you should have three eighths plus seven eighths equals 10 eighths. 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths equals 5 sevenths. 4 sixteenths plus 9 sixteenths equals 3 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, I'm sorry. And 2 ninths plus 2 ninths equals 4 ninths. Great job.